Hello and welcome to the Daily Vision Bible. I'm Harry Yates. Yesterday I watched a burial of an ordinary man who realised he needed to make a difference. To paraphrase the great Nelson Mandela himself, let's hope that should we ever find ourselves in a situation that calls for it, we will be as prepared to make that a difference. Let's open door 16 of our advent calendar. Luke chapter 3 verse 33 is another genealogy of Jesus and the last name featured in that verse is Judah so we know that Jesus did descend from the land of Judah it's Numbers chapter 31 today let's open God's word with prayer Lord I ask that as I read your word that you reveal something new to me I also ask that as people see and hear your word they come to a better understanding of you Amen Numbers chapter 31 he always spoke to Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel for the Midianites. Afterward, you shall be gathered to your people. Moses spoke to the people, saying, Amen from among you for the war, that they may go out against Midian to execute Yahweh's vengeance on Midian. Of every tribe, one thousand. Throughout all the tribes of Israel, you shall send to war. So they were delivered out of the thousands of Israel. A thousand of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. Moses sent them, one thousand of every tribe, to the war. Then, and Phineas, the son of Eleazar, the priest, to the war, with the vessels of the sanctuary, and the trumpets for the alarm in his hand. They fought against Minya, as Yahweh commanded Moses. They killed every male. They killed the kings of Midian, with the rest of their slain, Evi, Rickham, Zor, Hor, and Reba, the five kings of Midian. They also killed Balaam, the son of Behor, with the sword. The children of Israel took the women of Midian captive with their little ones, and all their livestock, all their flocks, and all their goods they took as plunder, all their cities and the places in which they lived, and all their encampments they burned with fire. They took all the captives, and all the plunder, both of man and of animal. And they brought the captives and the prey and the plunder to Moses and to Eleazar the priest and to the congregation of the children of Israel to the camp at the plains of Moab which are by the Jordan at Jericho. Moses and Eleazar the priest and all the princes of the congregation went out to meet them outside of the camp. Moses was angry with the officers of the army the captains of thousands and the captains of hundreds who came from the service of the war. Moses said to them, Have you saved all the women alive? Listen, these caused the children of Israel, through the counsel of Balaam, to commit sin against Yahweh, in the matter of Peor, and so the plague was among the congregation of Yahweh. Now therefore, kill every male among the little ones, and kill every woman who has no man by lying with him. But all the girls who have not known man by lying with him, Keep alive for yourselves. In camp outside of the camp seven days. Whoever has killed any person, and whoever has touched any slain, purify yourselves on the third day, and on the seventh day, you and your captives. As to every garment, and all that is made of skin, and all work of goat's hair, and all things made of wood, you shall purify yourselves. Eleazar the priest said to the men of war who went to the battle this is the absolute law which Yahweh commanded Moses however the gold and the silver the brass the iron the tin and the lead everything that may withstand the fire you shall make to go through the fire and it shall be clean nevertheless it shall be purified with the water for impurity all that doesn't withstand the fire you shall make to go through the water you shall wash your clothes on the seventh day you shall be clean. Afterward, you shall come into the camp. He always spoke to Moses, saying, Count the plunder that was taken, both of man and of animal. You, and Eleazar the priest, and the heads of the father's households of the congregation, and divide the plunder into two parts. Between the men skilled in war, who went out to battle, and all the congregation, Levy a tribute to Yahweh, 
of the men of war who went out to battle, one sold of five hundred, of the persons of the cattle, of the donkeys, and of the flocks. Take it from Noha and give it to Eleazar the priest, for he always wave offering. Of the children of Israel's half, you shall take one drawn out of every fifty, of the persons of the cattle, of the donkeys, and of the flocks, of all the livestock, and give them to the Levites, who perform the duty of Yahweh's tabernacle. Moses and Eleazar the priest did as Yahweh commanded Moses. Now the plunder over and above the booty, which the men of war took, was six hundred and seventy thousand sheep, and seventy two thousand head of cattle, and sixty one thousand donkeys, and thirty two thousand persons in all, of the women who had not known man by lying with him. The half, which was the portion of those who went out to war, was in number three hundred thirty seven thousand. 500 sheep, and Yahweh's tribute of the sheep was 675. The cattle was 36,000, of which Yahweh's tribute was 72. The donkeys were 30,500, of which Yahweh's tribute was 61. The persons were 16,000, of whom Yahweh's tribute was 32 persons. Moses gave the tribute which was Yahweh's wave offering to Eleazar the priest, as Yahweh commanded Moses, the children of Israel's half, which Moses divided off for the men who fought. Now the congregation's half was 375,500 sheep, and 36,000 head of cattle, and 30,500 donkeys, and 16,000 persons. Even of the children of Israel's half, Moses took one drawn out of every fifty, both of man and of animal, and gave them to the Levites, who performed the duty of Yahweh's tabernacle, as Yahweh commanded Moses. The officers who were over the thousands of the army, the captains of thousands and the captains of hundreds, came near to Moses. They said to Moses, Your servants have taken the sum of the men of war who are under our command, and there lacks not one man of us. We have brought to Yahweh's offering what every man has gotten of jewels of gold, armlets and bracelets, signet rings, earrings and necklaces, to seek forgiveness for ourselves before Yahweh. Moses and Eleazar the priest took their gold, even all worked jewels, all the gold of the wave offering that they had offered up to Yahweh, of the captains of thousands and of the captains of hundreds, of sixteen thousand seven hundred fifty shekels. The men of war had taken booty, every man for himself. Moses and Eleazar the priest took the gold of the captains of thousands and of hundreds and brought it in to the tent of meeting for a memorial for the children of Israel before Yahweh.